Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you might be. This is Roger Gilbert. I'm representing Milling and Grain magazine, and I'm reporting for the Rongo Rongo Live video studio today. Uh, we have in the studio a very important guest with us, uh, Thomas Christensen. He's the product manager for Grain and Seed with Cambria. Cambria is part of Agco, and, uh, which is a global uh, organization, business uh, servicing farmers globally. And Cumbria, as we know, is based in Scandinavia and also in Italy. Uh, Thomas, uh, welcome to uh, Rongo Rongo Live Video Studio. Thank you, Roger. Thank you for having me. Uh, Thomas, uh, your uh, background in the industry goes back a little while, uh, back to 2014 or so. Can you tell me a little bit about what you've been doing? Right, yeah, uh, I was uh, employed or I got into the business after my graduation as an engineer in 2014. I uh, have been uh, playing a part in, in several different roles in commissioning and sales, case management, and now in, in working for, for Echo and Cambria, it is as a product manager for Green and Seed. Mm. And uh, what is it that Cambria is doing? I mean, you've, you've told me sustainability is an important issue. And that's what we're going to address today. But uh, why why do you think sustainability is becoming important to our sector? Well, honestly, I, I believe it's it's quite important for us to develop with our customers first of all. That's that's priority number one for Cambria. So at this point here, we had a customer reaching out for us uh, to us uh, because he would like to look into having a more sustainable production. So instead of you know, reaching for the skies uh, from the beginning, uh, we believe, along with the customer, agreed also that we should start with uh, maybe the conveyor. So specifically in the conveyors, we do have like a, a plate which is being worn and torn during time of production because the chain conveyors is, 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 is actually moving. And uh, maybe we should look into you know, replacing that part with uh, more sustainable uh, wear plates than uh, the plastic we are uh, you know, using today. Mm. And, and is, what sort of material are you using and where does it come from? Well, essentially it's plastic. So every, more or less everybody in the industry is using it because you know it's, it's relatively cheap to, to to buy and it will last for a relatively long time as well. So it's it's quite resistant for for like wear and it's quite resistant for like you know the change environment. It could be uh, moisture, it could be heat, and etc. etc. Yeah. So it, sorry. Sorry, I was going to say in in food grade purposes, you know, when you're dealing with uh, food products, is it it's a suitable material for that as well? It can be yes, it can be. Of course, it needs to specific specific design for the case that we are uh, having and if it's food uh, food grade uh, material then of course we need to to look into that as well yeah yeah and uh, how did the customer respond well he was quite quite uh, quite happy about the project and he still is and um, it turns out that that we, the bamboo were the choice of material for this case here because of uh, it is a sustainable product, you know, that, that it doesn't need any pesticides or chemical fertilizers to grow and, uh, and it can be harvested within three to five years. So, in, and after we install the challenge with bamboo who is it is actually relatively hard to, to, uh, to process in the manufacturing when you do the place. So it wasn't as easy as you would think because, you know, it, 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 originally we thought Hey, it's three, so how hard can it be, right? <laughs> uh, but it turned out to be quite a challenge in the production, but luckily we are quite flexible and agile in the production, so we managed to, to, to turn the production around and we got the plates to the, uh, to the customer. And uh, and they have uh, they, a couple of benefits, is a reduction of noise and, and oh. an increase uh, wear, no, not increased wear, but uh, increased lifetime on it. Yeah, yeah, and uh, I guess also it's a much lighter material than uh, traditional uh, iron or uh, other uh, metal products. Yeah, it is, it is, but, but you know, you're replacing the plastic with the bamboo, and 
and so so weight issues is not really a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the overall challenge and the overall goal here is actually to reduce the amount of microplastic in the production. Yeah. So microplastic itself is actually a problem, right? We hear about it in the oceans and etc. Mm. So if we in Cambria could be a part of being, you know, working towards a sustainable production by reducing the, the, the microplast, and and we would be, you know, more than happy to, to come into that. Yeah, I mean that's that's intriguing, and I think that that would resonate with uh, consumers. I I think what's happening is consumers are obviously becoming more aware of what our industry does. And uh, making judgments on on the basis of, of what we're doing or what they hear about what we're doing. So I think this is a very uh, positive uh, story or positive uh, development. Um, do you see sort of bamboo being used in other parts? I know I know in uh, uh, food milling, for instance, and flour milling, bamboo has always been used in uh, sifters and things like that, where uh, 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 plant sifters. But in the, in the actual feed industry, do you see where bamboo might play a role in, in other parts of the production process? I think, I think everywhere you do have some kind of rare plates you can, you can change. You are actually able to change it to a bamboo sort of, of, uh, of material. Of course, the challenge with working with bamboo, as also as I referred to before, is you know, how you process it. It can be a, a challenge in the production, for sure. Uh, so I, I see high potential, not only in bamboo, but in, in several other brand products that we can use to have a more sustainable uh, production. Um, mm. We are also looking into dryers and alternative heat sources, and, yeah. but that's a different story. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I know, but uh, this is a great way to introduce a, a resilient product like bamboo into the industry. So everybody, it's a very visual... Uh, aspect everybody uses conveyors of this nature and uh, you know I, th I think that's a that's a fantastic uh, example of what the industry can do um, also just to uh, comment a bit more on it you know it's, it's a bit of a culture change as well so so uh, looking into alternative ways of, of, of you know having a production is is have to be game changing it's something we need to you know if we can make a difference within to do something for the environment, it's. I think that's that's really important to be a part of that journey for sure. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. You know, to, to discuss a bit about consumers, I can take my wife as an example. <laughs> so what she does is actually she will look at the company behind the watch, whatever she is buying, to see if if they fix any. You know, my wife's a standard. You can determine if it's that high or low. But I think it's it's for in consumers. It's quite. It's quite highlighted for me in a way that, that they're looking behind the production. So. Well, well, Thomas, I think that's the case with most most of us, obviously, that, you know, we engage with consumers, you know, our people in our immediate friends and family area that are consumers. So the feedback we get from them is very important as to how what sort of contribution we're making to these sort of issues. So I think that's a, that's a good gauge. Um, I just think that, uh, well, what sort of response, other than the, um, the company installing these, these bamboo uh, uh, flights and their conveyors, um, what sort of other responses are you getting from people who've just heard about it or who have shown an interest? Is, is it uh, positive? Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. Of course, you know, a culture change takes time. And, and uh, first of all, you know, when discussing an alternative of what we do have today or what, how we used to do it, so the challenge is sometimes to change the mindset and this is how we have been doing it for the last 20 or 30 years, it will take time. But the initial feedback regarding the bamboo were positive, absolutely. Mm. Uh, and, and I believe it's only a small step to, towards a, a, you know, a different way of thinking in all the products. Mm, yeah, and and coming finally to a couple of last questions is, um, what about the supply of the bamboo? I mean, is that coming from any particular uh, area or region? Is it is it adding to the economy where it comes from? Do you think? Is there a possibility of that? I would like to hope so. Uh, of course, of course, looking into the general sea of footprints. Uh, Will also be a project that we will like to attack a bit a bit later. I think it's we have a Danish supplier of the bamboo, and, and uh, 
I think that's it's it's quite important for us also to develop along with the supplier uh, due to different market demands, also to food grade stuff, and we need to develop um, the so the lifetime on on, on the newer using material. So I yeah. Yeah. I would like to hope that it is a benefit to the, the economic uh, in, in where we purchase the, the, the yeah, yeah. Uh Anything else you'd like to add, finally? No, well, I, I, I'm just glad that, that, uh, that the customer chose us to be the partner to, to develop along with us. I think that's quite important, not, not only as a company, but also for this a personal goal for me to, to yeah. see if we can make a difference. Well, we here, we can make a difference. Yeah, well, if, you, if you're coming up with other products within the process uh, involving bamboo, we'd love to hear about it and uh, give it some publicity because I think that this is the, the very thing our industry should be seen to be doing. And if it's uh, saving costs, which obviously is driving lower cost, uh, and it's improving performance, all those good things, then let's talk about it. But um, Thomas, thank you for joining us today and uh, good luck with your bamboo conveyor flights. Thank, thank you. you. Bye for now.